Hello and welcome to Tutorials Point. In this session, we'll be learning about event helper methods. First is on method. If you want to attach one or multiple event handlers to an element, then we can use on method. Next is off method. If you want to remove the event handlers that we have applied using on method, then we can use off method. Next is ready method. Ready, ready method executes only when DOM is fully loaded. So if you want some part of code to execute only when DOM is fully loaded, we can write it inside ready function. Next is click method. Click method is triggered when user single clicks on a web page or on any element. DBL click stands for double click. Whenever we double click on an element, this event is fired. Next is key press. Whenever a key is pressed on the keyboard, key press event is fired. Next is key up method. Whenever we release a key on a keyboard, key up method is fired. Whenever we press down a key, key down method is fired. Next is hover. Whenever we hover over elements, we just move our mouse over elements, hover method is fired. Next is change. Change works on form fields. Whenever we type anything on forms, then the form field value is changed. So change event is triggered. Similarly, there are focus, blur, mouse enter, mouse leave. These all are event methods. Let's see all of these in practical. Here in our web page, we have an heading event helper methods. We have a paragraph which says click me. We have a div with style of height 250 pixels with 500 pixels, background red and margin bottom 25 pixels. We have an input box containing type as text. We have included jQuery from code.jQuery.com CDN. And in our script tag, we have $p. We have used .on method to bind click event to paragraph, which is this one. And when we click on this paragraph, this function will be executed, which says $div.css. We are changing the properties of this div. And we are changing its background to green color. Let's see how it works. Whenever I click on this click me button, background of this div should change to green. So we can see the background change to green. Next is dot click method. Dot click works exactly similar to the way dot on click worked. Let's see the output. We are doing the same thing here. We are changing the background to green. I should refresh this. When I click on this click me, the background should change to green color. Here we have used dot click method and we have supplied the handler function which contains $div.css background green. We are changing the background of div from here when clicked on paragraph. Next is hover event method. So whenever we click, whenever we hover on div, the div's background should change to blue color. Let's see this. Whenever I move my mouse inside this div, the background should change to blue. So we can see the background change to blue color. Next is double click. Whenever I double click on this div, the background should change to yellow color. Let's see. I double clicked on the div and the, we can see the background change to yellow. Now we have new selector we have dollar input as selected and whenever i press a key there whenever the key is down we should get an alert box which says key down and also whenever something is changed in the input box change event is triggered so we should also get another alert box saying change let's see this whenever i'll press any key the page will give me alert box which says key down and also change because things have changed inside this input box. Similarly, again, when I press the key, the page says key down and change because both the two methods are triggered. Now the next is key up method. Let's see how key up works. So I'll comment this out. Now, whenever I press any key inside this input box, it should only give me alert box when I release it. I have pressed the key, but I haven't released yet. So when I release it, 
the page says key up so this is how key up event works so that was all about event helper methods thank you